everyone, it's Sean. I'm back again. So I'm going to have, release the parts that I primed yesterday off of their grippers. Find the fourth gripper, because I'm going to need it. I think it is uh, right here. So there you go, evenly spaced. Remove uh, the bumpers. You don't need them grip anymore. There we go. Okay. And take the uh, Yeah, I'm going to take these out because you're not using them right away. You're going to assemble the engine at the Hobby Club meeting. That should be enough. Now, of course, I'll be priming this section as well, but I will be covering up. Well, you know, you might not have to prime the whole thing. I mean, based on where the front is and where the back is, you could fit the interior bucket in kind of like this. And that will show you exactly what you need to prime. The running boards, the front, and the back only. And look, no pinholes. That's perfect. But I mean, I can always just cover up that one pin. One pinhole? One or two at most. Mm. Well, this has, this has pinholes, but it doesn't have... I don't know how it fits in. Oh, no, no, that's for the dashboard attachment, of course. Okay. All right, so we're all ready to attach the parts while we wait for the water to warm up. There, there's one. See how I've covered the part that doesn't need attaching. All right, let's look for the aqua color. That's the one that's silver, so that stays with this one. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hmm. All right. All right. In this case, then just do this. There you go. Try. Oh, come on. All right. All right. Do that then. That should work. And then. Come on. Okay. Okay. Turn it around completely. All right. All right. Little bit of overlap, tiniest bit. There you go. There you go. Still get all the parts. Good. And this, uh oh. That's going to have to be taped down because there's nothing to grip it with, as you see. So I'm going to take this gripper off of here. Come on. <sighs> Tape it down there. There you go. I hope that's the proper side. That's the part with the number, so it should be. All right, so there we go. There's the uh, good. They fit within the confines of the box. That's excellent. And then the... Uh-oh, uh wait a minute. Oh, one little switch. Sorry. This has to be the silver part. So there's one attachment. There's the other attachment there you go there you are good that's the those are the silver parts actually slide it down just a little or up or up there you go there you go and this is the other black section so that's a part that doesn't need to be painted so if you do this like so oh well actually Ooh, yeah, that won't quite work. Hey, there we go. That works. No, it's over top of a piece. Give me one minute here. No. There we go. There you are. Good. Okay. So you've got all the black parts that need to be painted. You've got that radiator hose, you've got the divider, everything. Good. That's good. That's perfect. So that's what I will paint tonight, and I'll come back when I've done that. Come back again. Just carefully extracting the, uh, hmm, the spray painted parts out of the thing. You see the uh, black, the divider I use. And 
here are the paints so that should be it for the gloss aluminum still didn't use up all the matte black so i didn't have to turn to the regular black at all but of course i only had the the few grippers so i could only do so much so here we are so let's see how we do did here oh yes let's turn on the light let's take out well okay here it is without the light on the overhead light there is the overhead light which creates an unsightly glare and you can't see much so there are the black pieces having just been spray painted eh, try to make this a bit more even so that the paint doesn't pool i mean this isn't the hogan family i don't have character named Mrs. Poole. Yeah, that's an old joke, I guess. There. Tilt that up just a little. That way. So there's a taped part. And if I look underneath it, there's no color on it. There's no color on the other tape part, so that's good. So Now the part numbers have been occluded by the paint. And there's still a bit of a white primer outline, even though I got them in all four directions. But So those are the black parts. These are the uh, gloss aluminum parts. So if you want a actual proper picture of the division between the two painted colors... There you go. And with this light on. I don't know if that's better or worse in this case. So that's all for today. Uh, tomorrow I will focus on painting. What will I paint tomorrow? Here we go. You know that the hood and the dashboard and this and the gear shift and the mirrors need to be painted black. And I'm assuming the seats need to be painted black as well. Let's, let's make sure. Um, yes. So what I can do is I can highlight those paint colors. Not going to paint the body black yet. Uh, these parts have not been touched at all yet. Not even primered. They're going to be hand painted, I think. And the rest of the parts in the car are either chrome. Oh, well, look, there you go. Oh, sorry. Front and back bumpers. You can do those too. So that's what I will do tomorrow. Very good. Well done. All right, here we go. I will get out my... Um, those two Sharpies I used yesterday. But you only need one of them, the deep blue one, to mark the remaining sections that will be black. Yes, yes, black, black, black it is. Main body, front and rear bumpers, lower car wall should all be painted black before you start assembly. Okay. So, I'll be back once I've done the part highlighting. Part number highlighting. Okay, I'm back. So we might as well start with the front and rear bumpers. They're the easiest parts to identify. Uh, let's find them on the guide. Ah, there you are. Step 11. All right, so you have part number four. And you have part number, looks like part number three. Okay, so. Part three is front bumper. There you go. Colored in the, that which will be black color. Yeah. Let's take the uh, matte black out. Put it beside them. There you go. All right, and then you have the front. Uh, that is the, oh, the hood. Well, the hood is part number two. Okay, so where is the number two on here? Ah, there it is. 
Okay, so it's marked on the sprue tree and the part number is outlined on there. Good. Okay, so then we have to go for the seats. Ah, here we go. All right, so. Well, the black console hasn't been accounted for yet. Now, now the seats get accounted for. All right. Black. The gear shift. That's part 13. That gets accounted for as well. All right. So, part 12 is there. Part 13 is here. Oh, okay, and there's the gear shift. Okay, okay. Oh, and don't forget the two mirrors, right? What part number are they? Da, 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 da. Ah, there you go. Part six and five. So on the sprue tree itself, there are the markings. Okay, good. Now, anything else? Yes, the dashboard assembly. All right, so that is, uh, okay, there we go again. Part number 11, instrument panel. Okay. So the sprue tree marker is right here. Okay, so there you go. So those are all the parts uh, laid out for tomorrow. Let's see, which way can we get it so it faces the numbers? There. Yeah, that's pretty good. So there are the parts for tomorrow. And uh, once everything is painted, then I'll go through the guide and mark out everything that needs to be... You know, it's already been painted, so it's been spray painted, and that will be the color pink on the guide. I'm leaving these mufflers alone. They haven't even been primed yet. Much less, well, they have been primed. They haven't been silvered yet, but that's later on in the build, so I don't have to rush right away. So those should be all the parts, because the rest of the engine parts are all chrome and everything. There's an entire chrome tree, so we'll be fine with that, and that will be it for today. Tomorrow I'll paint the remaining parts with just the one color, black, and we'll be all set. See you then. Bye-bye.